brutes wrapped up in a blanket of male machismo. Well, they're happy to victimize the helpless, but one thing sends them scurrying away. One thing strips their phony courage. The threat of a strong woman. Not so fast, Dr. Margot Hunt, Ms. Ethno-Historian. There are still some real men left in this world. Men who haven't been castrated by the years of feminist propaganda that corrupted the public school system and infected primetime television. Men who believe that nature designed women to cook, nurture children, and pose for penthouse magazine. Real men who see our role in this world is to love, protect, and yes, I'm not afraid to say it, to dominate women. <laughs> I'll go into the avocado jungle with you. I'll lead you to the piranha women. I'm man enough to face the dangers that lurk in the dark bosom of the jungle. I'm not afraid of the piranha women. Any more than I'm afraid of a certain ethno-historian who, terrified of her own frailty and need to be loved, abandoned her femininity in a bizarre charade of scholarship and androgyny. Jim, what are you doing here? You know him, Dr. Hunt? Sure she knows me, Bunny. Dr. Hunt and I are old friends, aren't we, Margot? Well? We were in love once. Desperately and passionately in love. Well, that was a long time ago, wasn't it, Margot? Back when your mind wasn't filled with bizarre feminist notions about the meaninglessness of love. Back then, you were the most giving, passionate woman I'd ever met in my life. I turned my whole world upside down for you. You shared our innermost thoughts and feelings. We made plans, big plans, plans for life together. And then you dumped me flat because I didn't turn out to be the sort of man who fit in neatly with the feminist tommy rod you were being force-fed by your professors. <laughs> it was a one-night stand. I was half drunk and left right after we had sex. We didn't say eight words to each other and all yours were composed of one syllable. Ha! Just like you to count the words, Dr. Hunt. What you never understood is there are some feelings that can't be measured in words. Some moments that last an eternity. You toyed with my affections and after you crushed my heart, I crawled into a whiskey bottle and I haven't come out since. You left for Hawaii the next day with a bimbo in the cafeteria. Well, <clears throat> yeah, but uh, <clears throat> I had made that date a week before. <clears throat>